Agent, we, meaning Dr. Candle, need you to secure the Hudson Rail Yards area. The yards have become a tent city for the destitute and desperate. The people forced out of every place else end up here. What we're looking for is blood samples from those refugees. Clean ones, sick ones, and ones who might have survived the dollar flu for Dr. Candle to work her magic on. So if you secure the site, we can do the rest. Agent, it's Dr. Candle. I want to stress to you the vital importance of safeguarding any civilians you may come across. The math says some of those people must have survived the dollar flu. That means they've got antibodies to it that I need to have a hope in hell of fighting this thing. And the ones who are just sick, having a broader genetic diversity of virus samples will help us track the virus's rate of mutation. Which is a long way to say, keep those people alive until I get what I need from them. Got that? Great. Active Echo Beacon detected. tells me the cleaners are holding the entire tent city prisoner. That's what it looks like, and it fits the cleaner MO. If you wanted to eradicate every last vestige of detectable virus, where would you go? Wherever the biggest concentrations are. Refugee camps, shanty towns. Jesus, you don't think they... Draconian solution, but highly effective. Sure, if you're a genocidal maniac. You ever wonder if we even deserve to survive this thing? Every day, Doctor. Every day. Good luck, Agents. that agent you're walking into the teeth of it now don't forget what i said about keeping any infected refugees alive 
I mean, obviously you're gonna try and keep them all alive, but I need those virus samples and I really need viable antibody samples from survivors. So keep them extra alive, I guess. You know what I'm, I'm going back to work now. Candles out. Signature of explosives detected. Confirmed. It's Napalm B, all right. With that much capacity, they must be planning to burn out the whole damn yard. And when they do, they're gonna kill every last refugee in that shanty town. We need that tank moved somewhere safe.
I'm not hurt. That crane won't support more than six tons that far out of here. Jesus. The thing we got up there has got to be at least five times that. Yeah. Heads up! Okay, Agent. As soon as you lock the situation down, I've got a joint Sarah JTF strike force ready to move in. They'll take samples from as many refugees as they can find. Medical personnel? A couple of EMTs in the mix, Doctor. Yes. A couple? As in only two? The rest are first aid certified. They know how to tap a vein. Get going, Age. Without contaminating the samples, I assume. Or infecting themselves, yes. I'll take your word for it. Thank you, Doctor. Get moving, Agent. to log intake info from everybody you get a sample from. Age, gender, ethnicity, general state of health on a 10-point scale, then label and group the samples according to... Excuse me, doctor, but maybe this could wait until we get confirmation the op is actually complete. You saying you don't have faith in your agent? Just focusing on the task at hand. Lieutenant, you'll radio the doctor as soon as the area is secured. Yes, ma'am. Don't worry, doctor. We'll get it all worked out. Hotel out.
Agent, if you can find the crane controls, drop that tank someplace safe. Sample team, listen up. Like I was saying, I'm gonna need those blood samples labeled and organized so we can track corroborating factors. Let's move this discussion to a different channel so we don't bore the agent. Hey, the comparative data you secured from the train yard. I mean, those refugees, of course. It gave us something to think about. There's another report in the database for you to look at. One of the things that makes a virus lethal is adaptation. Rapid mutation makes it harder for antibodies to identify and drugs to kill. What we're seeing in the samples you pulled from the population at the train yard is the degree of genetic drift green poison is already experiencing, and it's significant, which means it'll be that much harder to find a vaccine. 